Hello students, welcome again to Shore of Sir's classes. This video is a continuation of the previous videos where we are solving the questions here. Okay, today we will start with the 14 number question. And uh, remember that as just like all time, we are always there to help. If you need any help, you can contact to this particular number which is given in the description as well. And you can WhatsApp also. Okay, now we have opened this gate as well. Okay, we will get back to you as soon as possible and give you the answers of the questions. And if you need our complete study material, the paid course actually. So for that also you can contact uh, us. Okay, without any further introduction. Now let us go to the question. This question is if a constant voltage of plus V is applied to the input of the following op amp circuit for a time t okay then the output voltage v0 will approach towards infinity or exponentially linearly or actually must exponentially or linearly that is the main question they have so positive or negative we will decide later so the circuit is an integrator okay so the output voltage V0 equal to 1 minus RC integration of V dt ok so V0 is this will come out this V integration of dt so then is V t RC plus the constant k so here V0 varies Simply V0 here we can see that V0 varies linearly as given by the our expression. So V0 varies linearly. As it varies linearly, so these two are wrong answers. Okay, we are crossing them. And the main idea is whether it is positively or negatively. You can see there is a negative sign from the formula itself. So directly this one is also the wrong answer so our very correct answer is this so v carex minus v and linearly okay now uh, please allow me to change the color okay use black so again we have rc network so in the following rc network for an input signal frequency f equal to 1 by 2 pi rc the voltage gain is v mod v0 by vi okay and the phase angle sigma alpha v, <coughs> theta between v0 and vi is respectively so if the phase angle phi is v0 and vi respectively so we need to find that v0 by vi so the voltage gain let me check how to do that so for this we have f equal to 1 by 2 pi rc so omega equal to 2 pi f equal to 1 by rc so the circuit consists of series and parallel rc networks which are in the opposite phases so therefore net phase angle net phase angle between the net phase angle between output and input voltage equal to 0 so now we have z o equal to r by 1 by omega c square 1 by omega c square okay so this c will cancel out and this is r by root over r square omega square c square plus 1 so this is r by simply root 2 so the input impedance here So input impedance that is at i equal to two r square one by omega c square so r by root two so that is root over So root 2r plus r by root 2 so voltage 
gain is v0 by vi that is these two remember that these two modulus are separated so r by root 2 root 2 r plus r by root 2 so this is simply r by 3 r hence we can say it 1 by 3 so obviously going with the options so then option b is the only correct answer okay now proceeding to the next question light traveling between two points takes a path okay light traveling to two points takes a path for which which of them is correct so here we are actually talking about this thing formats principle okay so formats principle is that the path traveled by light the path traveled by light is one for which time taken is least so by this time of flight is always minimum so option a is directly given so 16 number answer is a now we are proceeding to the next question this one is a challenging one so consider a free electron e and a photon both having energy of 10 and if lambda and rho respect wavelength and momentum respectively then which of them will be correct so they want us to represent a relationship between lambda e and lambda ph so to do that so for this we need some space so given energy of an electron and photon is e equal to 10 v and for electron d fragile wavelength okay electron d wavelength is given by lambda e h by p so h by 2 root m e e so m equal to obviously this is a mass of electron and h equal to Planck's constant okay h equal to p l a n c k s okay the spelling is very important so it's a Planck's constant okay now for a photon now for a photon energy is given by e equal to h c by lambda p h so lambda pH equal to H C by E. So we can here write lambda E by lambda pH is H by 2 M E E and E by H C. So here we can write it as E by 2ME into 1 by C. That's it. So now all you have to do is to put the values. So this is 10, 1.6, 10 to the power minus 19. This is 2, 9.1, 10 to the power minus 31 into 1 by 3 into 10 to the power 8. So this is root 5, this is 4 third, this is root 10, 12 and this is 1 by 3 into 10 to the power 8. Okay, so here we can write 4 by 3 into 10 to the power minus 2, 1 by 3 and 2.236. So this whole thing is less than 1. So directly we can write that lambda pH is greater than lambda E. So the momentum of an electron that is PE is root over 2 MEE. -E. So momentum of the photon is given by PPH by E divided by C. So PE by PPH we can do that in the same way. And E by C. So this is 2 MEC square by capital E. That's it. 
so PPH by PE equal to root over E by 2A me into 1 by C now this thing is also greater than 1 from the previous question so PPH less than PE so ultimately this ends up that the correct option number B is only correct now we proceed to our next question for an ideal gas which of the following TS diagrams is valid okay so now the graph is shown is option A is more steep it's more steep in comparison to other three so this is the steepest graph so it will be the valid graph for the TS diagram so the TS diagrams graph for an ideal gas must be steeper than any other so this one is for the isocor and bar is the correct answer okay for the next question this will be this video is getting longer i will be ending up this video with this question and uh, the obviously the other questions will be solved in the next videos if u f h and g represented by this internal energy Helmholtz free energy and this is enthalpy and Gibbs free energy respectively then which of the following is a correct thermodynamic relation no you know in my graduation days thermodynamics was one of my favorite area so but this question is relatively easier so here E equal to V into dp we know this is the work done and H which is nothing but the enthalpy is E plus T S so if we just do D H this is V D P so representing E this and replacing here plus T D S okay hence so we can see that that our very correct answer is option number B okay and if you find if you need any help if you have any kind of suggestion please do uh, share with us you can whatsapp us if you don't like any part of the video then also please do share with us okay and for the complete study material structure you can contact us and we will get back to you in no time that's all for now thank you for watching our video god bless you